I will demonstrate the proper way to terminate a 25 pair cable on a 66 block. This particular block is located on my key system frame, which is a large 1A2 mainframe, as well as other things are connected to it. <clears throat> Due to the space limitations in the building, I will zoom in as much as I can to show you part of the process. The 89 bracket that is here, and there are various types of them, has two notches in it, one on the top and one on the bottom. Where my finger is is the bottom and this is the top. Below, which I'll show in the next block, is one in the middle on the back side. The proper way is if you have a cable coming from the floor, for an example, up to the 66 block, you want to exit the top left or right side. If a cable is coming from the top of the block down, you want to exit the bottom uh, left or right side. You never, ever come out of the middle in the back. If you do, run a cable from here out and on the other side, you cannot remove the 66 block. Having the cable coming out of the top or the bottom of the bracket on the front side, you can unsnap the block off of it and remove it. I have terminated tens and tens of thousands of cables in my lifetime and I'm pretty darn good at it and quick and I have followed behind other technicians who came, ran the cable out of the back and occasionally, maybe one out of a thousand, you may actually have to remove that block. Not necessarily because it was wired in correctly, but if you have lots of cable, lots of blocks, you may have to float it off to run a new cable behind it. Because once you get eight cables, 200 pairs in this case, in there, the space to run cable is very tight. And I have had to float these off. Again, if you come out of the back side, you cannot remove that block unless you pull a lot of slack up and then pull the block out. Uh, the Bell System trained their people, or I was trained by the Bell System people, to come out of the top or the bottom. There are different manufacturers of these 89 brackets. Some of them are better than others. This is, of course, a Western electric block, but Siemens made a bracket identical to this, as well as others. I will use a 66 M150. The M stands for miniature. There are two basic 25 pair blocks. You have the mini blocks such as this, and then you have the larger B series that is used for equipment distribution um, generally or special services. So I will terminate this one cable one time for demonstration purposes. When terminating a cable, which I had a cable coming out of the side of the block, it's very important to know the color code or have it on a chart because I'm going to stir it here with the slate, violet, violet, slate, and we'll end up here with the blue, white, white, blue. So this is going to be pair number one, and this will be pair number 25. I will lay down the whole cable, and then I will punch it down, and then I will zoom in uh, a little bit on it so you can see what it's like. The cable I'm using is not a good cable. It's a really old bell system cable, so the conductors seem to want to fall apart, which means you have to hunt for your mating lead. In this case, this is the violet slate pair, which is number 25. And then I would go with the violet brown. Um, I should actually have my glasses on for this. But, and actually for the camera, for what I'm doing, it doesn't even have to be the correct color code order, but I'll do it that way anyway.
25 pair of cable is really not used very much today. Uh, most every digital phone system uses one pair or two pair technology. If you take a step backwards and use Cisco equipment, yeah, you got to have four pairs of wire if you're doing power uh, PoE, uh, power over Ethernet. The telecom industry spent a lot of years perfecting single pair technology and Cisco can't do it on two wires. They got to have eight, even though they're not using all eight in most applications. So we have kind of taken a step backwards in time from an electrical point of view. Again, this is not good cable to be demonstrating with because the pairs are not twisted together very well. And it doesn't matter if you're terminating a 25 pair cable, some four pair, what's called IWs, inside wire. Today, that terminology is kind of dead, and most people just refer to everything as Cat5 because that's the, the latest craze in the world. And if you're doing data stuff, it's not bad. It's more difficult to work with, but um, it still is what's out there. That's the ground. Okay. As you can tell, I've started at the bottom and worked my way up to the top. What I've done with the black green pair is I didn't want to lose it in the cable here, so I just put it through a couple of the teeth in the block just to hold it so I didn't have to hunt for it again. And for those who do not work with wire on a regular basis, neatness is something you have to really work on if you actually care about neatness. I've terminated so many thousand pairs of wire in my lifetime that I got learned how to do it neatly years ago. Even though this is old cable, old blocks, and I'm working with old technology, this is how it was done. A lot of people were trained how to do neat work, work neatly and correctly, and that is a complete 100% lost art. Quality is something that you find in the Smithsonian, because you will not find it in today's world of telecommunications. Okay, so I have 25 pairs now laid down on that block, so I'll punch it down and start at the top.
and I have finished punching down the 25 pair cable. Back when I did this for a living, uh, I would be able to fan that out and punch it down in less than a minute. Today, it's this is probably the second cable I've done this year on a block like that, so I'm a little slow. Anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like, and then I will zoom in on the side for a quick visual, and we will be done. You can see I've got the white blue on the very top, and then the white orange, white green, white brown, and so forth. There's what the side of it looks like, and again I'm coming out of the top hole in the 89 bracket. And then we have the rest of the 25 pair cable, and we will end with the violet slate pair. And then down below is the 89 bracket I was talking about. There's the back bottom hole that you should never run a cable out of. And then you have the top notch and the bottom notch is the same. Here's uh, angle, the other side view of the cable that's been terminated. Here's what the block looks like after I cut the cable off. This is a side view. I'll demonstrate how to remove wires from a 66 block after they've been terminated. This particular block is a Western Electric block, which means it's about 40 years old, and it's made out of a different type of a plastic than the modern 66 block is made out of. So it is not nearly as forgiving as the uh, new blocks are because these are very fragile. So you just basically pull the wire out and make sure you pull it up out of the teeth, otherwise you will break these off. And theoretically when you do that, you the block is still usable, but in my opinion you've ruined the block. So there's several different ways of pulling wires off. You can just use your hand or you can get them in you know, three or four group pairs or leads, however you want to look at it. This may not turn out very good in the video. We'll find out. And I have a block, the same one that I started with, that's ready to be used again. As long as you don't break any of the teeth off of it, this block can be used over and over. Again, this block is probably 35 to 40 years old.